Hey there everyone, LDM the boy here coming at you with my second box opening of My Hero. So I ordered a second booster box because I decided I wanted to make more budget builds and was like, might as well just buy one more box because uh, my buddy uh, M. Varga was like, yep, you should buy at least one more box just to get like enough out of it, you know. I'm like, yeah, that's fair. Like, buy just one more is fine. And I'll invest in the Crimson Rampage next, probably. So, two cork packs and box topper go beyond. I opened the cork packs at the end because I know in the last video I didn't open them for some reason. I think I forgot about them when I put them on the side. So, but yeah, I'm very excited to open some packs here. Wonder what I'll get. I'm tr I'm really liking the No Mood deck right now. Like. Nomu is actually really fun. He's a villain deck. It's like really, really good. I'll get into a, like probably like you know what some of these cards are and their abilities and stuff because I don't know enough about the game to like really dive in yet and explain what if these cards are good or bad. But my overall experience with the game is like really fun. All my care like I'm building all my deck too. I want to make it better. I really did not make this deck really good. It's not as good as the Nomu deck. No one deck is so much better. And these are character cards, like your leader cards. I mean, Can't Be Fixed is a pretty good card. Good foundation, I know that. I know pretty much about the foundations. Not really about the attacks and all that. So this is a base rare, um, Blinding Cloth Assault. He's really good um, in weapons decks. I only know that because M. Farga plays um, Stain against me a lot. Hero Killer Stain, and he, this card is used. It's a base rare. So I can be, I only can just really just crawl on my personal experience really, so this isn't really like, I'm not equipped enough, like I don't have enough knowledge, don't have, didn't play enough games yet to really tell you if a card's good or bad yet, I don't know anything about like the current meta, um, I'm just kind of building decks and seeing which ones I like before diving even further, so I'm kind of taking my time with this game, like going on a journey kind of, so these are like attack cards and stuff, and then these are foundations. And then these are action cards. I learned about these recently, last night. I was like, because my rival uses Summon Dark Shadow. He, this is a really annoying card. He loves Tokoyami. Like, ugh. He's really good with this. Then, we got a base rare Shock Treatment. Yeah, I wish the, um, the art was better for this game, but... This is what it is. The, the, the game's fun enough that I do enjoy playing it. This has been the most fun I've had with a card game in a long time. Like, Digimon's fun too still. I love playing Digimon. Like, that's not going anywhere. It's just... It's just really refreshing to play another card game that I enjoy just as much, you know? Like, I was playing, I've been playing Digimon non-stop for like a year. For like a year. Because like, it was that fun. I was just having a really good time. And then burnout happened, and I was like, it was the worst burnout yet. I was like, because I was really going through a crisis of like, I'm playing too many card games. Um, One Piece is coming out soon too, and I just took up this right when um, BTA was coming out. This is a base rare. Cool student. And, yeah. I'm realizing that I have to cut back at some point, which I will. Like, I definitely will cut something. I just don't know what card game has to like, take a hit. It's probably gonna be Digimon. Just because I need to cut less on that, because I just got a case for BT8, and I don't think I should do that again until BT10. That's where the Ghost Alphamon is, so every set afterwards has to be like low count. Like, I'm not gonna invest as many boxes. Like, EX2 and BT9 are gonna get hit. Like, I don't know how many I'm gonna get, but I'm not- I don't think I'm gonna get my usual six. So it's like, kinda like a situation where I'm like, going through like, a cut back. Which sucks being an adult. Ooh, base rare. Heroic lineage. Ida family. Oh, wait a minute. This actually looks kind of sweet. The Ida family card? I'm like, whoa. That actually looks pretty cool. So I think base rares are higher. Or like have pretty decent art. But like, definitely the ultra rares, XRs, and XSRs. Those are the really good arts. Well, I would say really good, but they're better than the commons and uncommons. So I'm getting a lot of staples right now that I was kind of wish I had more of. Like Crave Bowl Staff and all that. Got another character card for OP. Yeah. 
I do like my My Hero and Gale Force. This is a base rare. So I haven't had any ultra rares yet. Just a bunch of base rares so far. Ultra rare frog lashing. Oh my god, this is the card that um was killing me in one in, a, in a my hero game. I was like, this card is good. So it's a high attack for four, six damage, breaker one. I don't remember what that is. I know it's really good. Breaker one range. Um, enhanced. This attack gets plus one damage for each of your face down ready foundations. That's really good. I don't I I don't have time to explain, but it's really good if you're able to do that. Ready, um, enhance, ready to face down foundation. So, like, you can even set up damage. Like, if you already tap foundations, you can, like, re ready them to, like, get the plus one damage off for effect and to use them again for other stuff. Like, you just replenish your resource system, basically. Foundations are basically the energy of my hero. It's pretty neat. I kind of like the foundation system. Like, the mechanics of this game are actually not that bad. It's just very hard to keep track of stuff, like, all the time. It, it, it can be heavy key. But I do enjoy it. It's really fun. Ooh! Frigid Heat Wave! This card's really good, too! I'm put, I'm getting good stuff! Oh, man! Frigid Heat Wave! Alright, Enhance! It's a range attack, um, 5 high, 4... Four damage. It's a it's a low block too. So uh, enhance if you have six or more ranged attacks in your discard pile. Draw two cards and then enhances and then second enhances. Discard the top three cards of your deck. This card gets plus two damage for each range card discarded this way. So this card's actually really good for like being able to recycle, get your hand going and mill to plus the damage. It's a really strong. So I pulled some. I pulled two good ultra rare so far. So, this box is pretty lit. This card's like $30 at a time of video because I know my rival had to get, um, he had to buy it and he said it was 30 bucks. And I was like, well, rip. I pulled one. I think you need more than one though? Depending on what you're doing, but I'm a budget player, so I'm gonna take the one. <gasps> Nomu! I got a regular Nomu! Woohoo! I had the OR, so. Oh! Oh! Ultra rare specialized sound wave. Oh, this she's my favorite girl too, Jiro. Oh, earphone jack. She's my favorite girl, my hero. So just that's just a fun fact. Specialized sound waves. Um, four high, three damage. Um, mid block for one. Uh, let's see. She's a charge, flash, range. Oh, flash is good. That makes you. That lets you skip the enhance step. Amazing response. After you play this card, draw one card. That's good, ready. Response, remove one momentum. After you play this attack, add up to two cards from either player's discard pile to the top of their top of their deck in any order. Okay, this card's amazing. And she looks so good! This, oh, this is easily my favorite card. Oh my god, this is my favorite card. Oh, I love this card. My favorite girl, Jiro. Absorption. Ooh, sticky balls. Ah, sticky balls. But an XR smash. Pretty cool. Hey, the XR looks pretty sweet, actually. But slightly better than the screenshot. Sticky ball base rare is really good. He's just an annoying card to deal with. XR, the first XR is set. This is really cool. But yeah, My Hero is a fun game. I've been playing with M. Fargalarga and um, my rival. So, my rival, who also plays Digimon, same rival. We, yeah, we're playing the same game. Ultra Rare Evil Gaze. Very good, very good. 
I forgot how many you get per box. I know you get a couple uh, XRs though. Face rare earphone jack. These are head leader. Rising Starlet. Um, after you build this card, gain one health for spawns. Enhance your attack, flip, build one weapon asset or weapon foundation with your card pull face up. Oh, this card's really good actually. Good base rare. My rival, not my rival, Embarga was using this like all the time against me. It's really good. So, toy packs. Still got a bunch of box left, so hopefully we still got some, a couple good stuff to hit. Giant ice wall. Toloki. Base rare rescue completed. Character. Ultra Rare Detroit Smash. This card one momentum, add up three cards for hand to your momentum. All might enhance. Draw three cards. Okay, that's not bad. Art looks pretty sick. I like Detroit Mass Smash. So, next Ultra Rare. Right, That's a pretty good pull so far. I do like the Frophy, the Heat Wave, and the Jiro. Those are really good pulls. Like, I really did good with this box already, just from those three. Oh, this card's in the way. This is a uh, base for healthy aspirations. What else we can hit here? This is a base rare, unwavering slash. This card's really good apparently because my uh, my friend Amparga uses this. And this is the XR, I believe. Yep. Oh, art, think fast. So, that's pretty good. Okay, base rare. Nice. What else we get here? Ooh. XR hardened jab. Not bad. And we got an asset card. These are called. So the green cards 
I don't I forgot what they are, to be honest. They're called assets, I think. I'll have to double check, but I'm not gonna say anymore because I don't wanna mislead. Got plenty of extras for stuff, so ooh, ultra rare cape swing. Pretty good. I wonder if tape swing's good. I actually don't know. I pulled like two at least from the last box. So, I have a couple. My third one. Face rare. Irrefutable force of nature. Got a couple more packs left, so we're almost at the end here. Oh, art blinding cloth assault. The XR of it looks way better. It's really good. Hard and chop. SR, one for all. The SR. One for all full strike, cowling, 5% strike. So you enhance, discard your hand, draw three cards. If this attack is not blocked, commit your rival's character. That's really good. What SR is. I think I've seen that rarity before. But there's XR, there's ultra rare. So I actually don't know this is. Over there. But it looks cool. I like the blue. Smash. Alright, and a band card. I found out this is a band card. <laughs> Kirishima was actually pretty OP actually, and then he just banned his card for some reason. So that's what uh, M. Farga explained to me. He said Kirishima was just dominating tournaments because of this combo. With this card and something else, another Kirishima card, and they had the Arata, that Kirishima, and banned um, that card, that foundation. But yeah, let's pull my packs. Let's look here at the cork pack real quick, see if we pull any cool promos. Let's see, Kamui Woods leader promo? Oh, I wonder, I wonder if we can build a cool deck around him. No turn attack is blocked, raise his character, play level foundation, commit enhance. For the rest of this turn, your attacks get plus one damage, your rivals get minus one damage. Play able while committed. Oh, so I understand. It's kind of busted. <laughs> I played so many games to realize if a card is busted or not. Oh my god, I'm really into the game. Villains defeated. Let's see. Look at it. Then response flip after you discard any number of cards due to your rival's effect. Draw one card, play well while committed. Response flip after your rival attack. Blocked attack resolves, remove it, and gain two health. Ooh. Spicy. Alright. Well, that was my box number bo box number two for uh, my hero. I got some pretty good stuff. I got a potentially good leader card because it's a promo and he sounds busted. I'll probably make a deck around them, sure, it's, hopefully I can. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you've been experiencing good vibes lately. Um, Alright, see you later. Plus Ultra! <laughs>